Okay, chapter seven, part two. We continue with those pitfalls. Pitfall number six, inappropriate disclosure, self-disclosure. So sometimes as we're building a relationship, we think have a tendency to think that if we share something about ourselves or if we've had a similar experience, by sharing that'll make the client feel more comfortable. And actually it messes up boundaries and all kinds of things. So general rule of thumb is less self-disclosure on your part is better. It should be used very consciously and very carefully. Um, for example, I've been through a divorce. I know what that feels like. I know the difficulties and challenges. However, if a client's going through divorce, my having experienced that is probably not relevant to them. So it's not helpful to say, I've been through a divorce and I know how difficult it'd be. Instead, we're gonna use the skills of empathy, where I would say, you know, a divorce can be a very difficult thing for someone to go through. It, you feel a lot of shame, perhaps, or you feel judged by family members who thought that you should still be together. If you phrase it that way, you're taking you out of it, you're checking it out, you're offering an empathetic response, but then you also wanna find out maybe that's not the way the client's feeling, okay? So sometimes clients can feel compelled and wanna help the social worker. You all as disclosed in your self-reflection papers have lots of life going on. In the spring semester, you are going to be in an internship and you're gonna be placed in an agency with clients and you may be feeling at wit's end and you may have a client that goes, oh my gosh, I'm not sure I can even make it through the day. That is not the time for you to find your new best friend and your client and go, me too. Oh my gosh, I am so exhausted and stressed to the end. Nope, save that for your family, save that for your friends, um, save that for your Facebook posting, but that's not what you share with your clients. So avoid self-disclosure. Pitfall number seven is premature confrontation. So once again, confrontation should be very therapeutic. It should be planned. You really need to think about when and how you're gonna do it. Pitfall number eight is overwhelming the client with too much information or irrelevant information. Um, gosh, students who have me in class sometimes probably would find me guilty of this pitfall in class. Sometimes you can have so much that you wanna share a client that you're absolutely overwhelming them or you're giving them information that's not specific to what they absolutely need right then. If so, hold it back. So you, reading your client is gonna let you know whether or not you're giving them too much information or irrelevant. Number eight is similar and it's premature problem solving. In your infinite social work knowledge and wisdom, we tend to want to quickly identify the problem for the client and share that with them and instead that's not the way to go about it. We want to let the client in their own time identify what's most important and hear that and help them work on that problem as they see it. And pitfall number 10 is false assurance or minimizing the problems. It's gonna be okay. We all wanna do that. That's the helping part of us. That's the helper. We wanna say, it's gonna be all right. You, you know, you're gonna get through this. Some of the videos and case scenarios that are dealing with medical and health issues, sometimes it's not gonna be okay. If someone has cancer, their next visit to the oncologist may not bring good news. As a social worker, you want to acknowledge the feelings that's going on. How's that make the client feel? How are their family responding to them? Are feel they feeling supported? Just listen and reflect back and say, that's has got to be so scary. Oh my goodness. Use that silence and respond to what they are saying and feeling. Do not minimize um, what's going on. Learning from mistakes. Social work practice means we make mistakes along the way. It's okay to acknowledge, apologize, and learn. Some of the recovery statements are very helpful. Um, it's okay to apologize to clients. It's really okay. So if you've misspoke, if you use humor inappropriately and your client seems upset, say, oh my gosh, I think I may have hurt your feelings. Is that the case? Or I think I misjudged the situation. You know, I apologize. Let me retract that. Um, let me try again. So 
clients seem to see us as being human, which means we make mistakes. It, it is okay to acknowledge that you made a mistake and say, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so in summary, be aware of possible pitfalls, repair any damage along the way as you go, learn from your mistakes, integrate into the whole helping relationships. Focus on the helping relationship in its entirety, not just a pitfall or something that you did wrong along the way. So no more pitfalls. Y'all are going to be great. Bye.